Remember Interstellar? That eerie water world orbiting a black hole. Miller's planet, an endless ocean crushing gravity. Well, what if I told you something eerily similar might actually exist in our universe? Not orbiting a black hole, but floating in the habitable zone of distant stars. These are called Hycian planets, part hydrogen, part ocean, and entirely alien. Scientists think they might be the best places to search for life beyond Earth. And NASA's James Webb Telescope is already spying on one. So how do they work? What makes them so weird and so promising? Let's dive into the deep end. Chapter 1 – The Ocean Planets That Could Host Alien Life In Interstellar, the crew visits a haunting planet called Miller's Planet, a place where time stretches, gravity crushes and oceans cover everything in sight. It felt like pure science fiction, but what if the core idea wasn't so far off? Meet the real-world version, Hycian planets. They're just as mysterious, just as watery but backed by actual science, and they might be the key to finding life beyond Earth. The word Hycean is a mashup of hydrogen and ocean. These planets are covered in deep water and wrapped in thick hydrogen-rich atmospheres. Unlike Earth-like planets, they don't need to sit in the Goldilocks zone to stay warm. Their atmospheres trap heat, making it possible for liquid water and maybe even life to exist in much weirder places. And that's not just theory. NASA's already spotted some real candidates. But why are scientists so intrigued by these ocean worlds? Firstly, their potential for habitability is significant. The presence of liquid water is a key ingredient for life as we know it. Additionally, their thick hydrogen atmospheres could create greenhouse effects, maintaining surface temperatures conducive to life even when orbiting farther from their stars than Earth does from the Sun. One of the most compelling candidates is K218b, located about 124 light-years away in the constellation Leo. This exoplanet is approximately 8.6 times the mass of Earth and orbits within the habitable zone of its red dwarf star. Observations using the James Webb Space Telescope have detected carbon-bearing molecules, including methane and carbon dioxide, in its atmosphere. Intriguingly, there's also a possible detection of dimethyl sulfide DMS, a molecule on Earth produced primarily by marine phytoplankton. The presence of DMS is particularly exciting because, on Earth, it's considered a potential biosignature, a chemical indicator of life. While the detection on K218b isn't conclusive, it raises the tantalizing possibility that life could exist in the planet's ocean beneath its hydrogen-rich atmosphere. However, it's essential to approach these findings with caution. The detection of DMS and other molecules requires further verification, and alternative non-biological processes could explain their presence. Beyond K218b, other potential Hycian candidates have been identified, such as TOI-270d, which exhibits signs of water vapour, carbon dioxide and methane in its atmosphere. Hycian planets challenge our traditional notions of habitability. They suggest that life could thrive in environments vastly different from Earth's, expanding the scope of our search for extraterrestrial life. In the next part, we'll delve deeper into the characteristics of Hycian planets, exploring their formation, atmospheric dynamics, and the challenges in detecting signs of life on these enigmatic worlds. Chapter 2 – How Hycian Planets Work So what exactly makes a Hycian planet tick? Let's break it down. Unlike rocky planets like Earth or Mars, Hycian worlds are more like giant ocean bubbles, somewhere between the size of Earth and Neptune. 
Scientists call them mini-Neptunes. These planets are likely to have a solid or icy core, but that's buried under a global ocean and then wrapped in a thick hydrogen-dominated atmosphere. That hydrogen layer, it's doing some heavy lifting. Hydrogen is a powerful insulator, even if the planet is relatively far from its star, maybe too far for Earth-like planets to stay warm, the hydrogen traps heat like a thermal blanket. This creates greenhouse conditions that could keep a vast ocean from freezing even in the cold depths of space. And here's the wild part. Hycean planets don't even need sunlight in the traditional sense to be habitable. As long as there's internal heating from the planet's core or tidal forces from a nearby moon or star, that subsurface ocean could stay liquid. So in theory, life could evolve in total darkness under layers of clouds and water, a concept that blows open the doors of how we define habitable zones. Now, let's talk atmospheres and how we peek inside them. Telescopes like NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are designed to analyze the light that passes through a planet's atmosphere when it crosses in front of its star, a technique called transit spectroscopy. This lets scientists detect what gases are floating in that alien sky. In the case of Hycean candidates like K218b, we've already picked up signs of water vapor, methane and carbon dioxide, and maybe, just maybe, a trace of dimethyl sulfide, DMS a gas mostly produced on Earth by marine organisms. If that DMS detection holds up, it would be the first time we've found a potential biosignature on a planet outside our solar system. That's a game changer. But, and it's a big but, these detections are incredibly tricky. Clouds, haze and thick atmospheric pressure can hide important gases. Plus, non-biological processes might mimic biosignatures so we're still a long way from confirming alien life. Think of this as step one in a very long, cautious journey. Still, even being able to study these planets is a huge win. Just a few years ago, we didn't even know Hycean worlds existed. Now, they're front runners in the race to find life beyond Earth. In chapter three, we'll imagine what life could actually look like on a Hycean planet and why these eerie, steamy water worlds might be even better suited for life than Earth itself. Chapter 3. Could life really exist on a Hycean planet? OK, so we found Hycean planets. We know they could have oceans, hydrogen atmospheres, heat, and maybe even biosignature gases. But here's the million dollar question. Could something actually be alive there? Let's start with what we do know. Life on Earth has shown us it can survive and even thrive in the most extreme places. Boiling hydrothermal vents deep under the ocean, acidic hot springs, frozen deserts in Antarctica, even radioactive waste zones. Earth's extremophiles have no problem bending the rules of survival so imagine an alien version of that, something swimming in a scalding, high-pressure ocean under a hydrogen-rich sky. No sunlight, no land, just heat from the planet's core, and maybe chemical nutrients mixing in the water. These planets could host microbial life, like plankton or simple single-celled organisms that feed on minerals or even chemical reactions in the ocean. On Earth, we call this chemosynthesis, Life that doesn't need sunlight at all. In a Hycean world, this could be the dominant life form. But let's get a little weirder, because why not? What if, over billions of years, that simple life evolved? Into something bigger, smarter, more adapted to its dark, underwater world. Imagine creatures with thermal vision gliding through an endless midnight sea. Bioluminescent tentacles echo location like deep sea dolphins, giant alien jellyfish drifting in warm hydrogen currents. This isn't just science fiction. On Earth, 90% of the biosphere is ocean and most of it remains unexplored. We're still discovering new species down there all the time. Now take that blueprint and apply it to a planet entirely made of ocean. That's why scientists are so hyped about Hycean worlds. 
not just because they're weird, but because they may be common, more common than rocky Earth-like planets. In fact, some researchers think that Hycean planets might be the most abundant kind of habitable world in the galaxy. That's a massive shift. We used to think Earth was the gold standard for life. Now, it might just be one of many, a cosmic outlier in a universe filled with ocean giants. So, will we ever find life on a Hycean planet? Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not this decade. But the fact that we're even asking and that we're building the tools to answer means the search is very real. The universe just got a little wetter and a whole lot weirder.